Hi everyone, so let's take a look at solving um, exponential equations. So these are equations where x starts out in the exponent and you're solving for x. Okay, what you don't want to do is treat this like it's a quad, uh, quadratic type equation where you take like, the square root to both sides or something like that. Okay, um, so in other words, I don't want to like try to take the xth root of this thing. So what I would do is set this up so that you have like bases. All right, let's look at this one, for example. We're going to solve 5 to the x equaling 125. Well, 125 is the same thing as 5 cubed, right? So I'm going to rewrite that 125 so that it is 5 cubed. So would you agree that these bases are the same, these fives? Yeah, so they are, right? So since they're the same basis, let's solve this thing so that I can just work with the exponent. So in other words, my answer here is x equals 3. So that's the key. If you can get these things down so that you have the same bases, then you can just work with the exponents and ignore the bases, right? Let's look at this next one. I've got 4 to the x equaling 8. Now there's a couple ways you can do this, actually. Um, you can convert this thing into a logarithm and solve it that way. Um, but I'm not going to go there. Instead, I'm going to uh, set this thing up so that it's has like bases of, well, what are the like bases going to be? I mean, I've got a 4 here and I've got an 8 here. So think of it like this. 4 raised, or two, what number raised to a certain power will give you a 4 that also raised to another power will give you 8? In other words, what are the common factors of 4 and 8? It's 2, right? So I'm going to write this so that I've got 2 raised to the squared power and then raised to the x power. And on the right side, I'm going to have 2 cubed. Now on the left side, I've got 2 raised to the 2 power raised to the x power. So uh, exponents, um, uh, a power raised to a power, you're going to multiply the powers. So this is going to be 2 to the 2x equaling 2 cubed. So I've got my like bases now, which means I can ignore my bases and just work with my exponents. 2x equals 3. So x is... 3 over 2, like that. Okay, they get a little harder. Um, looking at this next one, I've got 9 to the x minus 1 equaling 27 raised to the x power. So again, think back to 9 and 27 are both multiples of a certain number. What is that certain number? Well, if you said 3, hopefully you said 3 and you'd be right. So 9 is the same thing as 3 squared, right? So I'll change that 9 so it's 3 squared, raised to the x minus 1 power. On the right side, I've got 27 raised to the x power, and 27 is the same thing as 3 cubed. So I'll change the right side so that it's 3 raised to the third power, and then raise that to the th x power. Now like I did on this previous problem where a power raised to a power means you multiply the powers, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to change my left-hand side of the equation so it's 3 to the 2 times the quantity of x minus 1 equaling 3 to the 3x power there. So I've got like bases. My exponents have gotten multiplied like they need to be. So I can just work with the exponents and ignore the bases, right? So now I've got 2 times the quantity of x minus 1 equaling 3x. And now it's an easier equation to solve. I'll distribute the 2 through. 2x minus 2 equaling 3x. I'll subtract a 2x to both sides, and there it is, negative 2 equals x. Alright, so that's how you can solve exponential equations. I hope this helped, guys.